I was walking one day and I saw a man throwing away some books in a trash can. This was something that really inspired me. But I never really have the opportunity to do something. It was always bothering me from maybe I was about 45, 50 when I found this book. He was throwing it in the trash can. And I said, what? This man throwing away this book. Because I love books. It's my, books is one of my best friends. Because if you don't read, you won't know what's going on in the world. So after I left, I took up this book. And the page that I opened, there was a story about man and dog. Dog supposed to be man's best friend. Well, this man, after he ate his dinner one evening, he decided to take a walk, you know, because he was full, so he went for a walk. So going down the road, he hear a faint cry over an embankment. He was curious to find out what was going on, so he climbed on the embankment and he saw a dog in a pile of ashes. So when he approached the dog, he tried to snap his finger. The dog was covered with mange and sores and very thin, sick and smelly. So he tried to snap his fingers as if he tried to comfort the dog. But instead, the dog tried to attack him. He punched his back, buried his teeth and growled and as if he was going to attack the man. That's, he had to back off. And this was what the dog said to the man. What are you doing? Ever since the day you built your first fire, I came around and you were my friend. We were friends. When you went away, I pined after you. When you came home, oh, I was glad and I wagged my tail in joy. You were my friend and we were the very best of friends. But now, when you said, fetch doggy, I fetch. When you said, roll over doggy, I roll over. <coughs> I was there to warn you whether when friends or enemies come to your gate, I would warn you. If you said, jump doggy, I never asked how I. I jumped. Yes, we were friends. But now that I'm old and I'm sick and I'm covered with mange, you threw me out in the street to be beaten and stoned by cruel boys. Is this the way you really treat your friends? Is this the way you treat your brothers? I said, no. You are a scoundrel. Be gone from here. This pile of ashes is more comforting to me than you. The man was ashamed <coughs> that he stepped off into the darkness of the night with his head bowed low. And this was what came to his mind. There have got to be a better way. There have got to be a better way. And the better way is to really deal with people, have compassion for people, treat people, other people as human beings. Don't throw them out in the street after they get old and after they serve you for years. You throw them out in the street to be beaten and stoned. There must be 